What's going on, boys? Really great, really go with Fletcher Bow. Yes, sir, guys. Today's video, another Viggy Bang Banger. As usual, today, man, today's video, I'm gonna give you guys the best field upgrades to use in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Now, these field upgrades are gonna help you, you know, give you an advantage in Call of Duty multiplayer, give you guys, you know, improve your KD, help you guys succeed in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. So, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get straight into it. Now, there's a lot of uh, field upgrades in Modern Warfare 2, and there's also, you can also use two uh, field upgrades in Modern Warfare 2. Now, in Modern Warfare 2019, you can do the same thing. You can use like two different um, field upgrades. You can choose one at whatever time you want, but whenever, like whenever, uh, whichever field upgrade is needed at the time. But we're gonna go ahead. I think you unlock the field upgrade two at a certain level. I can't remember exactly what level. I believe it's like 40 something. Uh, we can check actually. To unlock field upgrade number two, you'll probably have to level up to, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, right here. Field Upgrade Pro, which is 45. So if you're not ranked 45, then you won't have the option to use the second field upgrade or use two field upgrades in one game. So, but nonetheless, without further ado, let's gonna get straight into it. Now, the best field upgrades to start off with, I'm gonna go with the tactical camera. Now, tactical camera not on it's not good on every game mode, but I can tell you this: tactical camera can definitely 100 percent come in clutch when you're playing search and destroy. If you're playing Search and Destroy using tactical camera, you can watch certain angles, watch a bomb with this thing, and it gives you call-outs uh, in your uh, headset or whatever. It gives you call-outs. Ladies and gentlemen, tell, do not sleep on tactical camera. If you're a Search and Destroy player, SMD player, use the tactical camera, bro. This thing can come in clutch for sure. I'm trying to tell you, my boy. So, boom. Tactical camera, I'm going to give that the number one spot. Uh, inflatable decoy, not that great of a uh, field upgrade, but it is fun. Don't get me wrong. You can definitely pull off a lot of uh, trolls with this. And I'm not going to lie. This decoy has actually gotten me quite a bit of times. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to sit here and lie to you, my boy. It got me a few times. It did. It really it really did. It's definitely a, you know, a fun uh, field upgrade to use and to, to troll people with. But, uh, like, you know, in order to, like, you know, as a competitive gameplay, I wouldn't do it. Deployable cover definitely is not a bad uh, field upgrade to have. I mean... It gives you a nice head glitch if you're in the open. It gives you a nice little bit of a shield, a little bit of cover, to, you know, to work with. And also, I know a lot of people be getting into a lot of glitch spots with the deployable cover. So don't get me wrong. A deployable cover, it can come in clutch. It can give you uh, quite a bit of advantage. And um, multiplayer, you know, give you a nice little head glitch spot. But, you know, use it wisely. Don't just be all crazy, all willy nilly with it. The deployable cover could definitely pull off some crazy plays for sure. Next, we got the trophy system. Now, the trophy system, if you're a hard point player, uh, headquarters, things like that, trophy system is definitely the way to go for sure. Now, if you're, like I said, if you're playing hard point, headquarters, throw that thing down in the middle of the headquarters, hard point, no grenades is going to hit you, stuns, whatever. People throwing a whole bunch of drill charges. They throw everything at the hard point to try to get you out of it instead of just shooting at you. So, trophy system 100% is OP whenever you're playing those two game modes. So, 100% do not sleep on the trophy system of wax next we got the infamous dead silence everybody know man dead silence is it's dead silence bro you're basically your footsteps are very um are you know muted damn near um silent footsteps you maybe want to flank in there spawn kill everybody from behind you can do that with dead silence and the more kills you get the more it's going to regenerate it refreshes every time you get a kill and things like that so dead silence definitely not a bad you know it's not a bad feel upgrade to uh to go with definitely one of the most popular ones so Dead Silence is a W in my book. Uh, now on to the munitions box. Of course, if you're if you don't have scavenger or you maybe you run out of ammo, pop a munitions box, throw that thing on the floor. Now you got your ammo. You know what I'm saying? You replenish your ammo, your teammates' ammo. You're good to go on the ammo situation. So munitions box is definitely not a bad choice to make. Munitions box is probably the top top three in my opinion, bro. Top three for me has to be Dead Silence, Munitions Box, and I think I'm gonna have to go with the portable radar, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, portable radar. Is the next on the list, bro. Portable radar is basically, you know, your portable radar, your own portable UAV. You know what I'm saying? It only covers, a, you know, a certain a certain area, just a small area wherever you throw it. It does like a, I can't remember how many meters uh, away, but it does help a lot. Maybe you're you're going for a tactical nuke, you're going for an MGB bomb and Modern Warfare 2. You did a portable radar down uh, somewhere, so you will know if somebody's coming up behind you or at a certain area under you, wherever the case may be. You throw that down, they ping up on the mini map, and you just turn around, take them out. 
it's really it's very useful you know what i'm saying especially if you're on the street and stuff like that it's 100 100 very useful now another field upgrade that i think is uh pretty damn good is tactical insurgent now tactical insurgent i believe is only that great if you're playing uh invasion now if you guys don't don't know invasion invasion is probably probably the only game mode that people play well, i wouldn't say the only but one of the top game modes people play to level up their weapons faster um so you know you'll go in your spawn pop that tactical insurgent throw it down and you spawn right there that's basically what the tactical insurgent does tactical insurgent um it marks the location as your next spawn point that's basically what it does so you want to put it down in a building in the corner somewhere basically in the enemy spawn you put that down and you'll spawn there if somebody sniped you from like across the map or something like that you know what i mean so tactical insurgent definitely comes in clutch now the next field upgrade that i think is pretty good and i see a lot of people using it in uh multiplayer is the battle rage field upgrade now battle rage is basically a uh experimental stimulant that gives you an adrenaline rush health regenerates quickly tactical equipment is resistant and tactical sprint is constantly refreshed that's basically what battle rage does i don't know if you guys ever been shooting at somebody you will see like the blowhorn or you guys see the blowhorn over here on the right but it's basically like you know a blowhorn icon that pops up whenever you shoot down that's basically them having on battle rush they pop battle rush or not battle rush battle rage and um they're like they're basically like a super soldier that's basically what it is you know uh you know uh it helps regenerate really quickly i do feel like that's kind of op a lot of people been outgunning me with this battery as well but you know a tactical sprint is constantly refreshed so you're it's basically you're you're a super soldier at this point you pop that battle rage you know so you take a whiff of that you on go mode you know what i'm saying it's time to rush don't just don't pop battery just in the corner it's time to get active that's basically what it is you know what i'm saying it's time to get active pop that thing you get to go you're trying to get up in the spawn you're trying to get jiggy with it be on the move that's basically what battery is for man use that thing baby now one field upgrade i can definitely tell you is to not sleep on do not sleep on the smoke airdrop, bro. I've actually seen the smoke airdrop for the first time, uh, maybe a couple days ago. And you can actually use this as an advantage. You can use this thing pretty damn good. If you know how to use it and like maybe you're trying to, trying to play an objective, search and destroy a hard point headquarters, wherever the case may be. If you use that smoke airdrop, you know, to your advantage, it can come in clutch. Like this thing can actually do some damage for real. So don't sleep on the smoke airdrop. I really feel like it's really extremely good and very useful. You can, like I said, you can pull off a lot of plays with this thing, man. So do not sleep on the smoke airdrop. But the last uh, field upgrade I wanted to get into was the suppression mine. Now suppression mine, I've, I don't know if you guys have already know what the suppression mine is, but if you don't know, uh, it's a trip mine that's, uh, that when triggered emits a constant sound wave that disrupts enemy vision and slows their movement. Now, I don't know if y'all boys ever just been running in uh in uh in the lobby and multiplayer or whatever you guys have been running and then you just get your your screen just start going crazy you moving slow that's basically the suppression mine at work so somebody probably put it in the corner you walk through the door you can't move you you moving slow your, your headset's going crazy that's what this is and it's kind of op you can use the suppression mine to hold an angle for sure and if somebody triggers it of course you're going to know where they're at if somebody triggers it, you know what i'm saying so Suppression mine, definitely. I've seen a lot of people pull off some nice plays with the suppression mine. So don't sleep on suppression mine, my boys. All right, for sure. And the last one, anti armor rounds. I don't really see much of a use for that other than shooting the armored bots um, on invasion. That's literally it. That's all I see. Uh, and then maybe if you want to take out Vuga or stuff like that. But this, I don't, I don't really, you know, I don't see a, the point for our anti armor rounds. I feel like it's a waste. But nonetheless, though, those are the best field upgrades to help you improve a comp through Marvel for a multiplayer to give you guys an advantage to help you guys, you know, go crazy, man. You know the vibes, baby. So let's go over the list again. These are the best uh, field upgrades in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. So tactical camera, deployable cover for show, trophy system, dead silence for show, munitions box, portable radar, tag insurgent, battle rage, smoke airdrop, don't sleep don't sleep all right and then we got the suppression mine all right so those are the best field upgrades, upgrades to help you guys achieve you know uh, achieve greatness and call it a marvel 2 most player you guys did enjoy today's video if you guys did enjoy it please drop a like comment subscribe if you are brand new to the channel turn on post notice so you don't miss a video stay blessed stay great you great i'll see y'all boys next one mate.